This is from an A1990 MacBook Pro, but we notice it's pulling five volts instead of 20 on the USB-C meter. So we'll jump right into this repair. Uh, right here, you can see that the PMIC is getting way too hot. It's definitely short. Just looking at it, I can actually see a burn mark. Take a look under the microscope. That is a burn mark. So this chip is bad. So very quickly we find PMIC next to the T2 chip is bad and has a literal burn mark. So this chip needs to be replaced. We'll start by removing it from the customer board. Just put a heat sink over the T2 chip. We're gonna start by preheating this entire section of the board and then we'll focus heat directly onto the chip and remove it. Have the chip removed. So with the IC removed we can clearly see where that burn mark is right there. So this chip is definitely bad and in need of a replacement. We're going to apply some 138 low melt solder paste to our iron and tin each pad. switch over to a donor board and pull the PMIC. All right, let's prep the chip for reballing. All right, chip is uh, reballed, 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 and can go ahead and install it onto our customer board. Make sure it's orientated correctly. Drop some flux. Place our heat sink on the T2 chip. Boom. Chip is installed. All right. PMIC is installed, let's test the machine, see what we get. All right, will we get 20 volts? We will get 20 volts. And that looks like normal boot sequence. Very good. So we'll get this board put into the, um, the housing and make sure it boots up and then we'll complete the repair. have our 20 volts and normal amperage. Do we have an Apple logo? Yes, we do. Brightness is a bit low, but it chimed and it looks like it's booting to the operating system. It uh, definitely turned on and it's in the operating system. So this was a successful repair on an A1990 MacBook Pro. This machine came in dead. We noticed five volts instead of 20 on the USB-C meter and amperage being drawn close to 30. Uh, 0.3 amps. So we looked under a thermal view and found that the PMIC was lighting up and there was a burn mark. We replaced PMIC and solved our issues. The MacBook is back to normal operations. So we'll run this through some final tests and get it back to the customer. If you enjoyed the video and you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.